everybody, and welcome to another JASP tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be just a little quick featurette kind of tutorial. Uh, as always, I am in the most current build as of recording, so right now we are in JASP 0.13.1, which was released uh, last month uh, with point the um, point one version, 13.1 version coming out uh, a little bit later to fix some quick fix, some bugs. So today's topic is on how the creators of Jasp have added some more functionality to the figures that are made within the uh, program. Okay, so I'm going to uh, come back really quickly with just a quick analysis and a figure that was created with it. Uh, and then we'll talk about the feature. Okay, I just used some of my uh, old graduate student data to do a simple independent samples t-test. And here I have the descriptive plots of plotting the means uh, with what I believe are confidence interval uh, lines. So. Um, according to the APA, you got to make sure that in your figure caption or your figure note that you identify that these are 95% confidence intervals if you decide to use this graph. Now, how do you use this graph? Well, one of the things they added in the most recent feature build, uh, 0.13, was they added um, the ability to save this image as, and it'll come up here with your save image as, and you can save it. So if you want to share this image very quickly, then the default is a PNG, but this is where they added the PowerPoint. So you can save it as a PPTX, uh, basically a slideshow. Um, is what the uh, PPTX uh, uh, extension is. So if I save it as a PowerPoint um, and I write in test here, I'm just going to write in test and then save that. It's going to work. It's working. Now it's done. So if I go into PowerPoint, I can open the PowerPoint presentation because it's a PPTX and I can go to open and uh, I saved it to the desktop. Uh, I accidentally saved it to the hard drive um, finder part, and I don't think it saved properly. So I saved it to the desktop. And you can see that I also saved a PNG of it in my testing. So here we have the uh, PowerPoint slide. So we open this up, and it will open in a new, great, a new PowerPoint window. Uh, I wish it would open up in a current one but be that as it may so here we have a powerpoint slide with uh, the image okay and so if you want to mess around with the image itself maybe draw your own axes lines uh give yourself a better axis here rename this y-axis uh uh label then then you can do that um, it's not as it's not as fully intuitive or as easy as just making a graph of these two means with either a confidence interval error bar or uh, confidence interval bars or standard error bars. It's not as easy. But in order to make changes to this uh, this image here, we have to ungroup it. Okay, and so we want to go to uh, arrange and we want to ungroup this image and so now every piece of this image has been uh basically partialed out so we can make changes okay now you can add in words or letters to an image if it recognizes it as text so here i can change this to um let me uh, highlight this and change it to what uh, average uh, oop, uh, average uh, acceptance rate. And I spelled acceptance wrong. Great. Thanks for the help. And so now that is a little bit better. I can modify this to look a little bit better. That would it would have to it would have to take 
um, a little bit of finagling with the scales here. I might just extend this bar all the way to make it like line up a little bit better. Maybe make the error bars a little bit smaller. Um, you'd have to recenter them at that point. But, you know, PowerPoint has some great tools these days to to finagle with that so you can mo now modify these add some colors add a legend and change the color of the line change the shape of the line so if we changed um oh i think this is getting rendered as a uh, text as instead of a line yeah okay so maybe you can't change the line here but you could change these error bar lines if you really wanted to uh, but in any case those are the uh, changes you can make to the various bits in PowerPoint which I think is a great feature if you just want to make a small tweak but you have to remember that the vast majority of the images that are produced by the base version of JASP not not talking about the uh, let me pull it up here not talking about like adding a module like uh, visual modeling or uh, the reliability analyses or whatever you want to add to your top bar here. Um, it, it, I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the base, these base images, these base figures. They do require quite a bit of love to make them more make them more APA uh, conformant. Um, and the APA says, and I'm reading this from the seventh edition, APA says the images are clear. Okay, well, that's relatively clear. And if um, we wanted to, we could go back and make it clear. This is not clear, and which is why I decided to change it, right? And uh, all images are... All lines are smooth and sharp. That's the great thing about putting it into a PowerPoint and then saving it as, as an image later. You have the ability to uh, change DPI dots per inch or, or PPI pixels per inch so you can make the image a little uh, more smooth and sharp. Font is simple and legible. That's what I think Jasp does do great is I didn't modify the uh, font at all. This font is a uh, sans serif font and uh, APA does recommend APA style at least does recommend a uh, sans serif font because that's readable at, at smaller character levels and uh, also readable from uh, big character letters from longer distance away. They're just more readable. Uh, units of measurement are provided, so I haven't provided abri uh, the, the units of measure. I could say um, this is a proportion, right? Or uh, I would I would say average proportion, right? And so that's why it would be from 0.4 to 1 on this scale. But the issue with the units of measurement here, the issue uh, when you when you change it, it I spelled this wrong too. Uh, that that's not proposition, but great. It doesn't really matter. Uh, it, it, the the issue with this is that now it's getting a little bit bigger, so I have to so I'm gonna have to to reduce the size of this text or reduce the text there. But then the other issue is this scale. The scale is not very accurate. All right. So you have to um you have to edit those things. Uh, axes are clearly labeled. That's the one thing that we can change by bringing this into PowerPoint. And the elements within the figure are labeled or explained. So like I said, the error bars or the confidence interval bars would have to be explained in a uh, figure caption, which I would suggest doing it separately in your word processor, not adding it to a text box that sits underneath this image and then saving this image as a uh, or saving this slide as an image which you can do by the way you can go up to file and you can go to save as and I'm going to keep it on the desktop and I can go here and change it to a number of different formats I can save this as a PDF um, and uh, it, once once I change it to a PDF once it's in a, an Adobe format I can uh, change it to lots of other things completely 
uh, separately. So th I think that's pretty cool. And you can also export it as a image, um, which will bring up this as well. You can save it and you can export your time thing as an MP4 MOV and then you can change it. You can, you, which I think is really cool is you can um, actually export a timed PowerPoint slide as a GIF. So if you have some sort of animation that acts on its own, you can save uh, them as GIFs. That obviously neither here nor there for this video. So um, a step up from the original exporting in JASP, which allows you to better comport this image, this default image of a plot or some sort of um, graph from JASP and make it a little bit more APA acceptable. If you like this video, please leave a like. Uh, if you like my content, please subscribe um, for more videos like this, as well as other psychological videos from um, either tutorials or um, the streams that I do on Twitch. I, I put my uh, VODs on uh, YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.